You were tasked with doing a traffic analysis for the current quarter because your client noticed fewer visitors to their website over the last few months. To do this analysis, you would generally head over to the Google Ads interface and visit the different levels of reports and date ranges that you need for the investigation to understand what's happening. I personally would start by enabling the comparison mode and then making sure that I'm using the right date range, in this case, the beginning of this quarter till today. If we apply the date ranges and we look at the numbers, you can see that the client is right. There's been less clicks, uh, let's say 250 clicks less than the previous period. So now the next step is to go a level deeper. So we go to the campaign level and we try to identify from this list the campaign where we saw the most drastic change or drastic drop in traffic, right? So this one seems to be the campaign where we lost traffic. If we look at the impressions column, there's been 60% less impressions than the previous period. And I've expanded the clicks column here. You can see almost 43% uh, negative change in the number of clicks. So now let's click on this campaign to try to identify the problematic ad group. Uh, so there are a couple of ad groups in here. Let's sort by click. Uh, one with a 100% uh, change and another one with a almost 42% change. So let's expand this to understand this a little bit better. The change for this one is not that big. So it, that's definitely not the cause of the problem or that ad group doesn't seem to be responsible for all clicks that we lost. But this one seems more likely. We can now enter that ad group and see some of the keywords. To also try to identify the exact keyword where I lost uh, most of the clicks. However, if I'm just looking at my enable keywords, it doesn't seem like I've actually lost that many clicks on any of the active keywords, maybe optimize uh, Google Ads is one of the keywords where I've lost most, most of the impressions. But if you notice the, the number of interactions, there hasn't been that big of a change. We can expand interactions. And actually, this one uh, for Google Ads settings received more clicks on the current quarter compared to the previous one. That's another thing that I have to expand. If I'm looking at the interactions column, I don't really see the exact uh, change. So I always need to expand that, right? To be able to see that. I can do other things. I could navigate to audience levels or maybe even look at some of the ads to identify the exact ad where I lost most of the traffic. And we can see that I also expanded the interactions column in here. But in general, it's difficult to pinpoint the exact problem. And we're just looking at a demo account with little to no activity. Imagine this on a bigger account where you may have uh, dozens of campaigns running, hundreds of ad groups, hundreds of keywords. It may be as difficult as finding a needle in a haystack. So now let's look at how you could go about this with the PPC Investigator, which is one of Optimizer's most popular insights tools. With this feature, it is not necessary to do all the analysis and investigation we did in the Google Ads interface. Here we can simply ask why did clicks change during this quarter compared to a previous period. The tool will then give you an easy to read custard that basically shows you how one metric's performance impacts a different metric. In this case, we're getting less clicks because we're also losing impressions and search query volume. This chart is a great way to understand what's going on in the selected campaigns without navigating and scrolling through different columns to connect the dots. When you see this little icon uh, right here, it means that you can do a root cause analysis for the metric. If we click there, 
where we go to the root cause analysis tab, the PPC investigator will return the positive and negative top movers. These are basically the elements that had the highest impact in the change of performance for the investigated metric. In this case, this keyword is where we lost the majority of our clicks. If we expanded, the tool will show you more information, such as the ad group where the keyword is. If we now go to the Google Ads interface, we can see that the keyword isn't part of the active keywords. However, it was definitely paused at some point during the quarter. As you can see, with the PPC investigator, you don't need to invest that much time trying to understand what is going on in your campaigns. It will just give you the information that you need right away.